Hi everybody, I'm Ryan from the Missouri History Museum and today we're talking all about African American art and culture for our February homeschool day. For this craft we're going to make our own jug band. Now you may be asking yourself, what is a jug band? Uh, a jug band is a band that uses a mix of normal and homemade instruments and early jug bands were typically made up of African-American musicians and played a mixture of traditional black music like blues, jazz, and ragtime. Uh, these bands were most common in southern cities like Memphis and Louisville, but many famous jug bands brought their music to St. Louis to record albums with local recording studios. Today, we are going to get to see what instruments we can make from things lying around the house. One homemade instrument commonly used in a jug band is a jug. In the early 1900s, jugs like this one would have been found around the house. Today, most of us probably don't have stoneware jugs like this lying around, but you may have a plastic milk or juice jug like this one. Uh, that'll work just fine. The jug is like the horn section of the band. So when played right, it can sound like a buzzing trombone. Uh, to play the jug, you hold the rim of the jug a little bit away from your mouth. You'll purse your lips and then blow directly into the hole. Um, be prepared to make a rude sound, kind of like you're making a farting sound, and even spit a little bit to make a good sound. You can change the note you're making by loosening or tightening your lips or by moving the jug closer or further away from you, like this. Another common homemade instrument used in a jug band is a washboard. Uh, steel washboards like this one were used to wash clothes in the early 1900s. Now, you probably don't have a washboard lying around the house, but a ribbed paint tr uh, roller tray, a broiler pan, a laundry basket, or even a comb can work just fine. The washboard is played by scraping something stiff against the ribs of a metal or plastic surface, and many washboard players used metal sewing thimbles on their fingers as they scraped their fingers across the washboard. Now, if you don't have a thimble, you can use a pen or a pencil or a plastic knife to scrape it across the rib part of whatever object you choose and do it in a rhythmic way like this. The clicking of a pair of back-to-back -back spoons can also add some great rhythm to your jug band. Uh, the trick is to hold the spoons firmly in your fist with the handles pressed against your palm with the knuckle of your index finger in between, making a space of about half an inch. Uh, you can stand with one foot up on a stool and bang the hand with the spoons up and down between your thigh and the palm of your other hand to make a nice beat like this. The last instrument we are going to talk about is the wash tub bass. Now this string instrument consists of a cord stretching from a metal tub on the floor to the top of an upright wooden stick. Now, you probably don't have a metal wash tub at your house, so we are going to make ours using an aluminum can or a plastic cup. So, with the can upside down, you're going to make a small hole on the top of your cup, and you can do this with a hammer and a nail. Uh, make sure you make that hole in the center of the can. Uh, if you're using a plastic cup, you could even use a pair of scissors to make your hole if you don't have a hammer and a nail. Next, you're going to get a rubber band and cut it with a pair of scissors, making it into a long rubber strip like this. You're going to tie one end of the rubber band um, to a paper clip or a twisty tie to keep it from sliding through the hole. 
and tape the twisty tie or paper clip to the inside of your can or cup. Now if you don't have tape, it can work just fine without it. I like to put this in first before I tie anything together. And I've got this paper clip I'm just going to clip to the bottom. If you don't have a paper clip like this, you can easily tie yours to the paper clip and then pull it through the other side so the free end is up like this. Okay. Next, you're going to tie the free end of the rubber band to the writing side of a pencil. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. You want to make sure you have a nice good knot here, otherwise this is going to come undone. So I'm going to double knot mine, hopefully that will be strong enough. And that way, when you stretch the rubber band, it won't come off. All right, so I've got mine tied to the top of the pencil. I've got the eraser side that's down on the top of the cup. Now, you can play your wash tub base a few different ways. First, you'll want to make sure you elevate one side of your can or cup to let the sound out. So I'm going to put it on this little top here. And you can hold the pencil on top of the can and pluck the string, and you can change the sound by tightening or loosening the string there. Another way that you could play it is you could play it like it was a bass um, guitar or an upright bass by putting your finger down on it at different points to make different notes. One last way to do this is just to pull it up and tighten and loosen it with the pencil on top to make the different notes as you play. Give it a try and feel free to decorate your instrument. Uh, many wash tub bass players cover their wash tub in stickers and I've done that here with my plastic cup version. Once you have your instruments, it's time to assemble your band. So teach some of your family members how to play these different jug band instruments and see what you can come up with. You can play along to songs you already know or make your own original music. If you're looking for some inspiration, uh, check out the songs that famous jug bands like the Old Southern Jug Band recorded right here in St. Louis on YouTube. And we'll include uh, that information linked in the description. The Old Southern Jug Band included the famous duo of Earl McDonald, who played the jug, and Clifford Hayes, who played the violin. McDonald and Hayes played on the first ever recorded jug band song with singer Sarah Martin in 1924 and went on to have long careers as musicians. Uh, to read more about Clifford Hayes, Earl McDonald, and jug band music, uh, you can check out uh, the links in the description of this video. Now, we would love to see and hear what you made. You can share your projects by tagging us at hashtag MoHistoryLearn and hashtag KeepMakingHistory. Thank you so much for joining us. Please check out the other craft room videos as well as more online learning opportunities we have on our website.